Hi, this is Paul Haar from the saxophonist.org, and I'm here with a playtesting review of the David Sanborn Signature Series Mouthpiece by Aaron Drake. I have a very near and dear place in my heart for David Sanborn and his music. Uh, I can't help but think when playing this mouthpiece what an, uh, a 16 or 17 year old Paul Harr would have thought. Um, well first of all let me tell you what actually happened. I learned that David Sanborn played on these things called Duke Off D8 alto saxophone mouthpieces and I was concerned that if I didn't get a D8 I wasn't going to sound like him. Well guess what? It made me respect him even more because I don't know how anybody got a sound out of those things. They were unwieldy, they were powerful, but how did he get that beautiful sound? Well, if you've ever spent any time with those mouthpieces, you also know that they were made out of what I'm guessing is probably pewter. It was called some funky metal, but uh, bellite or whatever it was. But over time, uh, David Sanborn was starting to grow uh, dissatisfied with what he had. His mouthpieces were changing. I even saw uh, a funky picture of a mouthpiece that he practically bitten into submission. Um, so this mouthpiece, unlike uh, some of the other mouthpieces which are copies of existing mouthpieces that, that people have, this is actually a mouthpiece that Aaron has worked closely with David Sanborn since before 2014. I believe that since 2014 he's been playing on a version of this. When I saw him in Omaha recently, he had five of them and was playing on them exclusively. And he could not speak more highly of this mouthpiece and what it's done for him, especially as an aging saxophonist. And uh, the importance of this man to have something that's gonna be his signature sound and continue night after night playing, it was really important. And anybody who knows David Sanborn knows that his music and his equipment are of the most exacting standards. He can feel the slightest little change. So the fact that David Sanborn's not only put his name on this mouthpiece, but this is exactly what he uses, says something. Now, again, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily gonna work for you. If you're one of those David Sanborn fans out there, let me use this little disclaimer right now. This isn't gonna make you sound like David Sanborn. You still have to put in time on the instrument, but boy, let me tell you something. If you're into contemporary saxophone playing, this is the bomb. As you would expect, it's got power. That isn't what I was gonna say, but I'm gonna keep it a PG show. It is, I'm already a loud player, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you give me this mouthpiece with a funk band, I may not need electronics, but you know what? It's also not brittle. Now, there's a difference between projecting and bright and brittle, and this has got a nice little core under it. Yes, it's got a lot of high and mid-high overtones, but the response throughout the range of the instrument is really fantastic, particularly down low. <laughs> really go from 0 to 60. Um, what is really unique about this chamber is that it has kind of a three baffle system that I'll try to show you. The mouthpiece has a polished baffle here and then a steep division line here and then an unpolished section down below that and you can see that that the divisions are rather noticeable, okay? Um, and he wants it that way. The idea is it's supposed to give you ease of projection, it's supposed to give you immediacy of attack, it's supposed to give you stability of sound, but also give you that concussion that you need to have, that turbulence of sound. Um, this is not a mouthpiece that you're gonna take into your local um, coffee bar and play standards with. Um, the flexibility, is not great, and it isn't supposed to be. 
that's if I try to feather out the sound. It's not designed for that. But it's right in the pocket. It allows the player to feel the reed and to be able to control the sound within the parameter. But it does not make me sound like David Sanborn. Like I said before, that's my sound. Of course, yes, obviously highly influenced by it. But if you're a contemporary um, saxophone player, if you play in a rock band, you play in a funk band, uh, you play uh, smooth jazz, you play contemporary music, things like that, this is a mouthpiece that you must try. Let's face it, if it's got the seal of approval of probably the greatest contemporary alto saxophone player of my generation, it's something to check out. And knowing that Aaron Drake is making it, you know that you're going to have some integrity and quality of workmanship. It's not a question. Now, this is expensive, around 570 bucks. So if you're a weekend warrior who doesn't have a sound concept and you're hoping that you're going to sound like David Sanborn, ain't going to happen. But this mouthpiece will be great at making you sound really loud and bad. So if you have a concept of how to play contemporary saxophone and you need a tool that's going to let you make your music, the David Sanborn signature mouthpiece is something you really must consider. To learn more about this mouthpiece, other mouthpieces, educational articles, and interviews, be sure to check out www.thesaxophonist.org.